Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So, I wasn't planning on doing a video this today, um, but when I woke up this morning it was 25 below zero, and it's pretty cold here in the shop. I turn the temp down in the shop when, when it gets cold like this to kind of conserve electricity. Um, we run an electric boiler for, for the backup heat, and my wood boiler's almost out of wood. Um, I gotta go get wood today once it warms up enough to even start the truck. I'm not gonna try. So, I'm going to do a quick video because i got a little job here I want to finish up um, and just show a different way of doing things instead of using a dividing head, how to, when you have features that need to be positioned at 90 degrees from each other or even 60 degrees from each other, you can use these collet blocks. Um, i got one on here now. Um, they're for a 5C collet. You can use that. And... A machinist level. Bring that in. Just a, this is just a little four inch Starrett. Um, is this a 199 or a 99? I can't remember. But this is a Starrett machinist level. Just a little guy. And uh, so I can show how we can indicate just off of this um, without using a dividing head unless or a rotary positioner to, if you want to do that. This this particular shaft gets balanced afterwards, so these features aren't absolutely 100% neat necessary to be completely perfect, but they get so close to perfect that the customer has never had an issue with it. I mean, actually, they haven't even been balancing these shafts when they put them in, um, so that's kind of cool. So let me move the camera in and just give you a quick walkthrough of how this is done. Okay, so we have it in our in our bridge port, in the vise, the first thing you need to do, and this is what's going to want to help you out, and I did a video on this the other day, is you need to tram your head, where you use that, that tool I showed, that edge technologies tramming tool, or just a regular indicator on an arm, and tr tram your mill head to your vise, to, to the ways of the vise, back here, or move the jaw all the way back and up here. The next thing, the very next thing, check your vice. See where level is. See exactly what level is. And this thing, this mill is sitting about perfect. I mean, just, it's very close. And these, vi these uh, levels are adjustable. You can adjust your bubble and get it where you need it. Then, move it over here. And I don't know if you can see the bubble. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let me try to zoom you in here and get you on the bubble a little more. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, now you got these features you need level. So you just turn your level, or turn your part in that collet block to match what you had back on the way, back here. So, I am very close, I just am a little off from what I had. Right there. That one is, that position is perfect. Now you can do your work. Make sure this collet block is locked on tight. That's the key. Make sure it's locked on tight with good engagement. And then when you want to do your next feature that needs to be perfect, you just turn it, put your level back on, and set it exactly the same. Real simple, real fast, um, without using a dividing head. Now, if I was going to do, you know, more than I got two of these to do, if I was going to do 5 or 10, then I would probably throw a rotary positioner up here. The other thing that helps is not getting your vise too tight. Right there. Exactly the same as the other one. So that's that's a way to do it. That's It's a really fast and easy way. And like I said, the customer hasn't had any issues with this whatsoever. So if... You want to do it this way, that's great. If not, you can use a dividing head. I actually have two different dividing heads, totally different styles. They pivot in different ways. Um, 
And then I've got a couple of rotary positioners, some rotary tables. I've got all kinds of stuff. But this is fast, very fast and easy. So let me zoom you back out here and just one more time, kind of quickly. Just rotate it, put your level on, and just position it to match the met, the bubble mark point you had back here. So that's it. That's how it's done. Real simple. Um, just with these little 5C collet blocks, you can do six points, you can do four, whatever you need with these without digging out the dividing head or the rotary positioner. Just so much easier. Um, and like I said, the customer has been really happy with the shafts I've done for them. And the balance has been so close. Um, the last one, they didn't even have the balancing company come in and balance it. Um, that's how close it is. Um, so the, the failure on these is outside of everything else. It's, it's uh, some foreign material gets into the cutter. This is running a cutter and actually bends it because it hits so hard. So that's where the failure is. It isn't from the balance or anything. It's from that. So unfortunately, I got to do these a couple times a year and is what it is. They understand and and uh, they're a great customer to work with. But with that, um, I'm going to try to finish this job up and try not to freeze because it's about 48 degrees in here right now. It's, like you said, 25 below this morning is not a good thing. So I'm just going to keep the heat low, finish this job, probably try to deliver it yet today and get some firewood for the boiler and just try to keep my electrical consumption down for, for this really cold snap and then get back right at it as soon as things warm up. I have a few videos up in the in the queue to upload um, that'll be released on the regular schedule of Tuesday and thir Friday. Um, I think there's two, maybe three that are ready to rock and then this one will be after that. So um, well, hopefully by then we'll be warmed back up and I'll be back here in the shop. So like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website www.toppermachine.com and as always please like, subscribe, and share our videos. Share our Facebook posts, share, share, share. Just spread the word. Let's let's grow this channel and uh, um, you know as long as it keeps going and keeps growing and and I'm gonna keep doing these videos. I want to help you guys learn new things and show you some of this really cool stuff that I do because I do a lot of cool cool work here. So share away. Like, subscribe, share. Um, so with that, just everybody, when it warms up, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.